On the 28th day of the Hebrew month of Iyar, Israel celebrates Jerusalem Day, the national holiday commemorating the reunification of Jerusalem and the 1967 liberation of the old city from Jordanian control. Jerusalem is Israel's capital and largest city, serving as a spiritual center for all of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. King David turned the city into the capital for the Jewish nation, following by his son King Solomon building the first Jewish temple. During prayer, Jews face east towards the direction of Jerusalem. The city is also featured in Israel's national anthem as the heart of where Jews long to be as a free people. However, along with the religious associations attributed to Jerusalem, the city serves as a modern cultural, historical, and tourist attraction for both Israelis and tourists from around the world. So Jerusalem is kind of the like big landmark of Israel, and then you know it's the center of all these religions. I like it because I mean when I think of a Jerusalem, and this sounds sallow, but I'm like, wow, it's good food, and you know like interesting, different culture because I used to live here in Tel Aviv. Uh, I really like it. It's beautiful and it's super meaningful. It's, I think, um, a point of great, great energy. But the affinity towards Jerusalem throughout the years maintained our contact uh, to the country. And I felt that uh, my children aspiring to Jerusalem every day of the week uh, will be also a strong bond and a strong connection for them to uh, to uh, maintain the identity. For me, it's everything. Uh, it's my country where I live. It's uh, for the, the Jewish uh, people. That's all. You know, it's a very uh, interesting and could be very pleasant place, but it can also be very uh, tense and anxious. So we have a lot of experience there. Jerusalem Day is celebrated with ceremonies and memorial services, and celebrations take place across the country. However, some Israelis feel Jerusalem has taken a turn in its development, which they see as a negative one. So, it's a city of uh, great diversity, but also a city where there's a large population who are disenfranchised, who do not have their, uh, their full rights. And also, it's a city that's becoming increasingly uh, uh, under the influence and sway of uh, fundamental uh, religious, religiosity, Jewish as well as uh, perhaps Muslim. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu began his weekly address by presenting new investments for the development of Jerusalem, ones that he claims will help give expression to Jerusalem's vast potential as a focus for global tourism and will greatly contribute to the development and strength of Israel's capital. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.